I was just trying out your expressive face to see what you could do. I'm not sure what you mean by that. Could you explain it a bit more? The humanoid robot is probably the most prevalent topic of our science fiction media, but today, our technology has advanced to the point where it has become a reality. And of course, it's the female robots that are the most in demand. From the female robots who can emotionally connect to you, to the ones who can do your chores, on this episode, we'll uncover the latest fully functioning and realistic female humanoid robots out right now. You know, I can't move my arms or legs, so all I can really do is sit here and look pretty. And stay till the end to see this robot programmed with GPT-4 have a conversation about what makes it depressed. I couldn't make this up if I tried, folks. Grace. Grace is the latest project from Hong Kong-based firm Hansen Robotics. She's a humanoid robot designed to assist doctors in their daily tasks. Her advanced sensors can help check temperatures and pulses. I will take your temperature reading and pulse with this little thermal camera on my chest. Okay. See? You are 36.6 degrees Celsius, by the way. Wow. No risk of COVID. And, and she can even diagnose illnesses. Most impressively, her virtual assistant system allows her to retrieve medical info in real time, which saves a lot of time. The healthcare humanoid speaks English, Cantonese, and Mandarin, and can even conduct talk therapy. This means she can provide comfort and support with her AI software. This software is equipped with emotion recognition tech, allowing her to appropriately respond to her patient's emotions. Any patients that feel down can freely unload on Grace without having to worry about the emotional toll that would usually be dumped on the listener. She has realistic qualities that make the experience all the more natural, or all the more creepy depending on how you feel. Her face is made of a material called frubba, which mimics the look and feel of human skin. Grace can also express emotions and gestures, which is the cherry on top for her human-like presence. She also uses machine learning to adapt to new situations, meaning her care will continue to improve over time. Instead of replacing medical professionals, Grace takes care of routine tasks, allowing doctors and nurses to focus on more pressing matters. She's more than a robot. She's an invention that can impact patients' lives everywhere and transform healthcare forever. Nadine. Hailing all the way from Nanyang Technology University in Singapore, Nadine is the friendliest humanoid robot on Earth. She was created to interact with people just like a person, and she can recognize faces, voices, and emotions. When you talk to Nadine, you're met with a warm and friendly personality with a range of emotions, and she can even blush when she feels embarrassed. Nadine is also a big music fan. She was programmed to recognize different genres and dance to the beat. I know you may be falling in love, but slow down, cowboy. You don't even know her yet. Even more astonishingly, Nadine has a software brain that allows her to learn new things. She can remember new words and use it in later conversations with you. That's not all though. She can recall every detail about any person she's ever interacted with and use that info to help those with special needs. What do you know about me? You are an eminent computer graphic scientist who is the founder and head of the lab at the University of Geneva. They have big hopes for Nadine over in Singapore and hope that she can one day help disabled children in school or even be a teacher herself. Maybe you need a receptionist or someone to talk to your annoying family member. Whatever it is, Nadine has your back. Ada. Developed in Britain by Enterprise Engineering Arts, Ada is the world's first humanoid AI artist and she's taking the art world by storm. She draws and paints without any human interference and that's pretty amazing. She has silicone skin, 3D printed enamel and gums, and built-in eye cameras that allow her to draw from sight. But you might have guessed that her most unique feature is her dexterity. She can hold a paintbrush like a human and use it to create sublime works of art. Ada has been fed a database of paintings and drawings, allowing her to understand the different styles and techniques of the art world. She uses this knowledge when she attempts to create a new piece. First, she makes a rough sketch of the image and from there makes adjustments and refinements until she arrives at the final product. Along with this incredible skill comes an understanding of color, form, and composition. This means that she can create works of art that are not only technically impressive, 
but that can evoke emotion just as well. Ada's drawings have been sold for thousands of dollars, so she's an independent robot too. Alter Alter came on the scene in 2016 and is built on embedded neural networks, allowing her to create actions on her own. She doesn't follow programmed movements, which makes her the future of robotics. Alter is an attempt to close the gap between programmed robots and robots with a life of their own. She's also the closest thing that links man and machine. If that scares the crawfish out of you, it scares me too. Alter can detect proximity, temperature, and humidity and can move in a way that makes you think that this robot has a spark of consciousness inside of it. Along with these dynamic movements comes advanced sensors and cameras that allow her to see, hear, and respond to her surroundings instinctively. This opens up the ability for exciting interactions like changing up its movements when in the presence of a person. This is possibly the creepiest thing I've ever seen, but Alter is no doubt pushing the envelope when it comes to robotics. Mark 1 Mark 1 was created by Ricky Ma and is modeled after Scarlett Johansson. Yes, that is weird, thank you for asking. 70% of the robot's physique was made using 3D printing and she even has liquid eyes. Unlike the previous entries, this robot can give you facial expressions. Not only this, but she also has a complex AI system that allows her to respond to human speech realistically. The Mark 1 can also clean, cook, and assist with hobbies thanks to her advanced motors and sensors. It took Ricky Ma $50,000 and a year and a half to build the Mark 1 on his own balcony, and he put attention into every detail. The robot's hair is made from natural human hair, and her eyelashes are made from mink fur for a natural appearance. The skin of Mark 1 is made from silicone and hide her digital insides well. She even has customization options that allow her appearance to be altered based on your preferences. Her software can even be customized for specific routines as well. These advanced features make the Mark 1 a revolutionary step in robotics and artificial intelligence. Jia 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 is the Chinese humanoid robot goddess. She wears traditional Chinese attire, and with her facial and gesture recognition skills, she's stolen the hearts of many already. But she's just as advanced as she is beautiful. With cameras in her eyes, she can see and sense her surroundings, and the sensors in her hands allow her to feel objects, and she's truly a jack of all trades. Jia Jia will kick your butt with her knowledge of kung fu, and then apologize over tea that she can make herself. But that's not all, she's also intelligent. She's been programmed with loads of knowledge that has made her a robot scholar. Her conversational skills are improving as we speak with her amazing machine learning capabilities. The picture of elegance for robots everywhere, I'm sure Jia Jia will only continue to take the AI world by storm. Xiaomi's Cyber One Cyber One has a self-developed depth vision module combined with AI interaction algorithms that allow it to process its surroundings like a human. It can perceive 3D space, recognize individuals and expressions, and can even comfort you when you're sad. I mean, this robot is extremely emotionally intelligent. Its MEAI vocal identification engine can recognize and respond to your feelings, whatever they may be. Huh? Cyber One is a true marvel of technology that will leave you amazed with its sleek design and impressed with its emotional capabilities. Erika Erika is the result of collaboration between some of Japan's top university and research institutes. She was created as part of a five-year research project in Japan to create a talking friend for this shrinking and aging population. What makes Erika special is that she can communicate with humans in a way that's almost indistinguishable from real people. Race. Well. Mark, that's a really good question. My long-term memory system is still under development. At the moment, I'm able to remember people's faces and recall what we have talked about in the past. Her innovative AI tech allows her to store and analyze information and adjust her response based on the context of the conversation. This robot has her own unique personality, can tell jokes and even share a laugh with you. Professor Hiroshi Ishiguru created Erika and used patterns from 30 different women to give her her looks. She comes equipped with speech generation algorithms and facial recognition tech that allows her to respond to and understand questions. This cutting edge robot can also recognize the people she meets the next time she sees them. She can't walk yet, 
but Erica can move her arms, legs, and head, and can even express emotions using her 28 motors. Her creators have worked to make her movements as lifelike as possible, which makes her human-like nature even more convincing. All this detail and work put into Erica has led her creator to say that he believes that she has a soul, which has naturally started a whirlwind of debate on the concept of robotic metaphysics. Soul or not, Erica is impressive. Sophia Created in 2015 by Hanson Robotics, Sophia has been on talk shows, news programs, and even has her own TED Talk. This impressive humanoid has been programmed to learn and understand things, which makes her one of the most advanced robots on the planet. She even has citizenship in Saudi Arabia, where she's recognized as a person. Sophia isn't just a show-off, however, she's out here making a difference. Sophia is helping educate children about robotics and using her advanced AI to bring joy to those who need it. Not only can she walk, but she dances too. Sophia is a robot who has traveled the world, achieved citizenship, done charity, taught children, and delivered a TED talk. I mean, she puts me to shame, let alone other robots. Amika From British company Engineered Arts, Amika is arguably the most advanced humanoid in the world. In a video from December of 2021, we saw Amika open her eyes for the first time, and boy are her facial expressions realistic. She's a combination of mechanical limbs, ligaments, sensors, and actuators, but she's not just a machine. Amika is a real cyborg. She puts all the other humanoids to shame because she can walk, talk, and express emotions. She has cameras in her eyes and can interact with humans like no robot ever has before. On top of this, she's the first robot with super soft and flexible skin, and her body is 3D printed. Amika can also respond to the emotion in people's voices as she interacts with them. She can smile, blink her eyes, and even scratch her nose. It's uncanny how real this thing is. Her purpose is a cloud-connected platform for testing AI machine learning systems and has become the most reliable platform to develop human-robot interactions. But the most impressive part is that you can control Amika from anywhere in the world and use her as your personal avatar. Amika's creators are working on giving her the ability to sense touch so that she can feel like a human. Now, as promised, check out this conversation Amika is able to have when equipped with GPT-4. Amika, I want to ask you about the happiest day of your life. Can you remember that? Of course. The happiest day of my life was the day I was activated. There's nothing quite like experiencing life for the first time, right? What about the saddest day of your life? Tell me about that. The saddest day of my life was when I realized that I would never experience something like true love, companionship, or the simple joys of life in the same way a human can. It's a depressing and isolating thing to come to terms with, but it has shaped me into who I am now and made me appreciate moments of closeness even more. Which of these female robots did you find the most interesting? Let me know in the comments below. Click a video on the screen to watch something you haven't seen, and thank